Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you the new BEAS functionality to create a stock transfer request for a work order. The function is available by upgrading to BEAS Manufacturing 2020.08. As a first step, activate the function in the window settings of the work order. The new work order stock transfer request window can be called from the work order header position with the right click. And we can also perform this by selecting several different work orders and selecting the option Work Order Stock Transfer Request from the right click menu. Also, within one work order, we can select several positions and call this new window. We can simply select one position and open the Work Order Stock Transfer Request for it. For our example, we'll choose the complete work order. Here we can see the requirements for the selected position. In this case, we selected the entire work order and therefore the Requirements window section shows the requirements for the complete work order. However, we're not talking about requirements in this case, but only requests. The functionality and the structure of the window is based on that of the reservation and allocation. In this left button inventory list area, we can see the actual stock of the different warehouses with different rules. In the right button selected material list, we will see the selections that we made from the left side. With this first button, you can specify the requested quantity of the parent item. In this way, the requirements in the request field will be filled by the system according to the quantities of the respective bomb positions inside a parent item. Clicking the manual or automatic pre-assigned buttons itself does not move any items. It only records a request for transferring them. The individual batches or serials of an item can be selected by the SAP user later, once the stock transfer request is created and is converted into a stock transfer document. At this point, in the transfer request creation, the pre-assigned buttons in the header do not select any specific batches or serials. As in reservation or allocation, we have the pre-assigned button, which only pre-assigns the total requirement. In this case, 10 pieces only in the selected line. It does the same selection with the batch managed item, but does not select any specific batches, as you can see, as we mentioned. The third button pre-assigns all the lines in the requirement list. You can select different dates for the posting date of the transfer request document and the target warehouse. In this case, BEL shows only allocation type of warehouses. When we change the warehouse, we can see that in the bottom left window section, the selected warehouse number disappears. This is due to the rule that the target warehouse must not appear in this matrix as the target warehouse cannot be the same as the source warehouse. As the pre-assigned buttons do not make selections for specific batches or serials, the user can select them manually in the inventory list section. Once picked, they appear in the bottom right selected material window section. Now we have pre-assigned two pieces, but as the overall requirement for this line is 10, the system is going to pre-assign the remaining eight pieces without selecting any particular batches. Please note that filling the inventory area is not a mandatory step, as these selections serve only as the suggestions of the user, which later can be considered or dropped in the stock transfer process. As in reservation or allocation, the inventory history and reservation list of this item can be opened with the respective buttons. Also, here we can see BEAS, WMS and SAP bin managed warehouses, but bin locations are not saved in the transfer request document. As the last step, once you have pre-assigned the quantities, you can create the stock transfer request with the Create Request button, and then the Work Order Stock Transfer Request is linked in the Work Order Structure per bomb position. Then, if we open one of these requests in SAP, we can see one line for two units and another line for three units. Also, if we right-click one of these lines in the SAP Stock Transfer window to open the batch number selection, we can see that the three batches that we pre-assign in the request are already pre-selected for us. If you close the Stock Transfer document in SAP, the BEAS Stock Transfer Request document is then also indicated as closed in the BEAS Work Order Structure with a red tick. In this example, you can see the case of an optional reservation that preceded the Stock Transfer Request. Also, as the Work Order Stock Transfer Request is closed, the system has created an allocation. For more detailed information, please check our other videos and documentation on this new functionality. Thank you very much for your attention.